Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I know you thought I disappeared. Now, first thing, I've got a new microphone. It's a fairy ball hanging up there on my iPad. And um, so it's not right near me. It's up, on, up in the air. Um, it does look a bit like a dead animal, to be honest. Uh, just let me know, can you hear me? Because I'll go back and use my old one if you can't hear me. I've got no idea what I want to do today. I just wanted to put a video on and do some stuff because I haven't done anything for a while. I have these lovely um, kits by Shabby Dabby Duda, Tina. I um, can't remember what the kits are called. Aren't they pretty? Uh, I was just wondering whether maybe I would like to do something with those and maybe mix it in with they probably go a little bit with medieval mirage as well but what my thing is is i don't really know what i want to make oh i know well let, why don't we i've got i've been um look look at the box it's full of stuff i've been copy dyeing still i i'm up to my fourth batch now these are the some of the most of the well no there's some new ones in there as well um gosh it smells good okay i'll move those aside there's been some really great effects these are just, that was a stencil there um, the stencils yeah, they were okay uh, probably it was more my stencils that I mean this one was okay but some of them I wasn't so crazy about these are glassine bags maybe we'll decorate some glassine bags look at they aren't they uh, look at they look at them aren't they yummy and then I had all these little bits and pieces of paper that I wasn't doing look at that, that aren't they wonderful um, and then uh, you've seen all of those oh here this was a bit of stencil that was really cool how that turned out but the stencils didn't do that much. So um, I think you've seen those ones. Let's just go through here. I mean, the, oh, well, that was one of the first ones. You saw that. Um, I think they were some of the first. These are new. That one just turned out grunge ball, but I like it. Look at these. These turned out well. Um, now, some ladies wrote that um, they had trouble getting an impression. Well, um so the only thing that i could say is um possibly um what i do is i lay down my whatever like you know whatever this is going to whichever oh look at that side um whichever is going to you know envelope or piece of paper or, or whatever um and um i made my mix quite strong like jaff did uh jaff from medieval mirage if you knew and um and so look at that i think you saw that one already um yes so i'm not going to go through everything i'm just sitting here while i'm gas bagging i'm just you know rummaging through so you can have something to look at while i'm chatting so what i do is i lay down my first layer give it a squirt I actually my first layer i give it a squirt on both sides um and um you know my squirter doesn't like being tipped up like this and squirting down like that so i quite often once I've got everything, I hold my box up and I squirt inside with it up. And that, that way my squirt is, you know, vertically down, if you know what I mean. Um, these are new. They, they, how cool, cool are they? Um, just little scraps. So, uh, yeah, so I, I um, so I, yeah, I give them a squirt. Then um, I, I usually put my netting down first because it's a, like a, it's not very wide. It's about that wide. I just bought it. It was on a roll near the plastic, the lovely plastic doilies. Um, I do live in the land of the plastic doilies, as you can imagine. All the grandmas must love the plastic doilies over here. Um, the really old grandmas, not the young grandmas. Um, and anyway, so yeah, I'll put that down. And then um, I'll put, when I put it on top of a piece of paper or whatever, I, I give it another little squirt. I hold it up and give it another squirt. And the thing about holding your box up too is, as Jav said, you get... Um, you get lots of dribbles and things, drips coming down and stuff like that. Um, and then, um, so if that, if if I put the piece of paper on the doily or the netting or whatever, um, then I'll probably put some of these sort of doilies, the paper doilies down or something else, because the, the paper that's underneath is already going to be kind of decorated, have the imprint of whatever the netting or the doily underneath. So then I think, well, it doesn't need it on the top as well. Um, and sometimes it comes through anyway. So um, I um, 
put like I'll put a layer of doilies, paper doilies or bits and pieces of paper and stuff. And then I'll put some more paper on there and then I'll put my next doily on top and then I give it a, I press it down. I'm, I know first I've squirted my paper and then I put on the doily and I press it down. I make sure it's pressed or pressed down and then I'll put, I'll give it another squirt and then I'll put something else on top and, and so forth. So I think pressing down um, is what's helping um, get a good impression. And the other thing I noticed um, in my second batch, I had a bit less of an effect. First of all, I made my mix um, a little bit less strong and which is kind of good because then you get more variation otherwise you're going to get a lot um well there's always going to be variations but you're going to get a lot in the darker colors um but also i didn't press down as much yeah i think you really need to press down and the other thing i noticed you need to do is um, i'm letting them dry in the sun obviously you know, can't put your plastic doilies in the oven um although i would be capable of it um and you've got to you, you've got to don't even though you could pull up your piece of paper if it's wet don't let let it dry a bit more um because i've noticed that if you pull it up the impression hasn't gone into it yet it's sort of forming but it hasn't gone into it yet if i don't know how to explain it any better than that so you've got to let them dry like i just peel off a layer at a time as one layer is starting to separate and look dry it might not be 100 percent dry but it's not really damp um, then I'll lift it off so then the next layer can start drying and that's how I do it and I check that it's got its um, thing. If you take it off too soon then you won't get your decoration on it. So yeah and these blue lines another lady um, commented that her um, grid had disappeared. That has happened to me with other papers in the past the one time that I did do um, dyeing before this um, and um, it, I think it just depends on the paper. This paper, it stayed on. So, I mean, that one doesn't have anything, but it's nice colours. You know. And then these were just stupid white pieces of paper that I just kept. I was just checking that I'm recording. Um, you know, that I probably was never going to do anything with because they're stark white. And, I mean, this one got the impression on both sides. That one's really cool. I don't know what, how you... I don't know. You couldn't glue that down anywhere because you, you need to see both sides. Anyway... So, and I've been dyeing all of um, Joyce's lovely items. Now, Joyce, you need to get these into your shop because not everybody has these wonderful cutting things that you have. And I mean, they're fun now. Now that they're, they're dyed, I don't have to worry about the edge. I can craft away with them. Um, now, I don't really want to show you everything. I mean, that's just boring. I mean, these didn't get anything on them. Ooh. Oh, look, that one got a bit of mold. Do you know why? Because we had a rainy day in my second one and it didn't dry fast. Look at that. Well, that's interesting. Got a bit of mold on it. Well, I like the mold. I'll keep it. Um, yeah, so there's some grid there and it's paler on that side and darker on that side. It's very cool. Jaff is a genius. So these are some new ones. It's, I mean, I, I mean, my doilies are the same as the last time, but just to give you... Oh, look at that. That was a really good one. And you see, look, I didn't even squirt it. Like, I don't, like, totally cover it so it's all the same. Um... I'll squirt a bit more and then let it dribble down, as I said, and, and here had less. And they didn't even have any, but I like that. And look at the other side. That's really dark. So, um, oh, it smells delicious. Um, that See, that one didn't get much. That got impressions of the pieces of paper on the other side. Um, and then the doily. And there's one doily that doesn't dye as well, um, well, doesn't imprint as quite as well as the other ones. Uh, so yeah, I can't use these at the moment. Look, these had um, envelopes and pieces on them. But isn't that, it's like a, it's very cool. Jaff is just a genius. I know I just said that, but I'll say it again. Superwoman. So yeah, I think, oh, and this was my favorite. Look at this. I don't know how I got that. They look like boozies. I'm sorry to say it, but they do look like boozies to me, but I do love it. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. And, and the boozies. There the boozies are. Oh, well. Oh, I just cracked myself up with that one. I did. Oh, I, I, I mean, it's just, I don't know how that happened. I wonder how that happened. Don't know what I did there. But anyway, you know, it's random. It just happens. So I'm going to scan that one. And um, this one, I love that. Look at and that edge. As Jaff says, ladies, don't need to do any inking. I don't know. I don't under, actually understand how that part happens because quite often my edges aren't quite 
you know they're not um, flat and they're kind of hanging up in the air but they might they must as you're spraying just gather a whole lot of ink, um, ink <laughs> coffee and tea but anyway these are some of the new ones in my third batch I mean that one turned out really well as oh that one on both sides well that could be oh no it can't be because then you'd have to strengthen it that's just going to have to be a page you couldn't collage that you'd have to that's some lucky person's going to get that in their journal um, and then I did all these strips that I I mean look at that edge it's amazing these balls so yeah so that, I'm having a lot of fun with that I look look it's all it's working out very look at that one that one is beautiful now that one has a piece of paper a blob it's got netting it's got plastic doily and it's all pale on the other side and that one I mean that doily does really well doesn't it this maybe it's this doily that doesn't do as well but in some of them it has done well so I don't know anyway it's a bit a bit of the luck of the draw really um, how you go but um, it doesn't really you know it doesn't really matter I mean look at this this was just partially but it's very care it's got a lot of character and then I've got some bags here and here's oh look at this is one of um, Joyce's little pockety things and here's some bags why don't we just do a couple of bags or something today um, I really need to get cracking I've got I've got to start on my new batch of journals so I do need to get cracking I don't know what I'm flapping about doing or well, I have been um, packaging some orders and things so I've done that and um, they've gone to the courier I'm waiting for a few phone numbers ladies um, one lady ordered I think on the weekend and I'm still waiting I, should, I, I don't know I think my, I've tried to email her on Etsy I think her name was Lorna Lorna if you're watching could you could you see if my email has gone into your spam because I've tried emailing you and I've tried sending you two messages on Etsy and I'd love your phone number because I need to put it in the transport documents otherwise they won't accept the parcel um, they like to have the phone number just in case you know like they needed to contact you or something like that or me or they've got my phone number as well um, so I need that to ship with the courier um, otherwise I have to send it the regular post and who knows it should arrive but things take a long time so customs has become very slow very slow indeed and um, and I think it's different policies between the countries and stuff like that um, so you know customs is slow so you know parcels are taking longer than what they used to they used to arrive pretty quickly um, and now they're taking a very long time to arrive I mean you didn't want me to put a video on and just sit and watch me look admire all my handiwork with the dyeing did you I'm just sitting here looking at it all thinking it's so nice you think the problem is I like it so much I never did it before now now I've got it's like a disease I've ne I never did it before and now I'm hooked I just want to anything that's white's just getting put into the bucket oh look at this one guys I mean these are I mean you can't even put much on them because they've got they're decorate they're so pretty okay right well let's put this down I guess shabby dabby doo -dah is looking a bit white in comparison compared to my brown bags but I think it's quite nice but anyway I don't know what I'm going to do I've just pulled out a few things am I recording well you've just had 13 minutes of me gas bagging you can tell I've been off air for a few days um okay come on let's get a grip and let's think about what do we want to do what do we one day I'll show you my new fluffy microphone I really do hope it works I'll be very disappointed if you tell me you can't hear me please tell me if you can hear me the same um, if it's quieter or you know I, I do have my old one as well but now I don't trust it and I did go out and buy a more expensive one um, but I would like to know if it works I would okay so let's get on let's get cracking this is um, very it's similar color see it's very similar color book page I always start with a bit of book page don't I just in case you know just when I don't know what I'm doing I just put a bit of book page down I won't glue it or maybe I'll take those away because they're gonna confuse me we don't want that do we confuse Rachel is not a good Rachel um, what is that my 
Pepe jeans. Oh, Pepe jeans. Oh, I bought some pants. That's right. I need to take them up. I bought some pants last year when I was with my dad. And um, and I've never taken them up and never worn them. Well, that's clever, isn't it? Because I don't like doing those jobs. They are not my favorite jobs to do. Okay, so I think, I mean, these these coffee dyed things do um, want me to use textile in them. Isn't this? Here's a piece of that beautiful fabric that I've been hoarding for a very long time. Oh, now where are my scissors? Oh, here's some. I'll try these ones. They should be all right. Fabric, yes, that cut. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just laying it down. I did do some more printing. I didn't. I have not gassed myself yet to... I've, I've got some other ones that I'm going to gas myself with to... Um, see, maybe I don't need that. Oh... Oh, well, there you go. Now, oh, you may not have seen this. I don't know. Jaff, have you released this yet? She sent me a couple of pages um, to have a play with. And Jaff said that I could um, do them on video. And so I printed them on vellum, on, not vellum, on tracing paper. My uh, Just to remind you, my tracing paper is 55 GSM. I don't know what that translates to in the States. It's it's a it's a bit light, obviously a lighter weight than copy paper. I am going to glue that down now that I've seen that there. I'm not going to need much on this. It's just all too beautiful. So, um, oh, you know what I would like? Probably a word. But do you know what? I don't know where my words are. Oh, I know what else I could do. I could stamp. Oh, let's not exaggerate. I might stamp. I might do some stamping though. Guess when I have to get up and get the stamps. I did wear gloves today when I was um, coffee dyeing because, because, because um, I thought my 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 hands are going to go brown, and then everybody will be like going, "Oh, you've got some kind of sickness. Your hands are brown." So I thought I better wear gloves today. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, I don't think it's a good idea putting it in here. Come on, out you come probably not such a good idea oh okay oh I have found some really cool things too that I'm probably going to I'm not going to show them yet because I'm not ready but I'm going probably going to make them into packs and what the packs I'm going to make are I think I'll use this nice Mackie stamp here the packs I'm going to make um, them into are going to be um, going to be like They'll weigh just under a kilo. I have to allow for, you know, packaging and that sort of stuff. And they'll weigh just under a kilo and they'll have the sh shipping so um, nobody will have to worry about am I, am I getting the biggest bang for my buck because I'll make sure that in the parcel there will be as much as you, you can put in, if you know what I mean. So I thought I'd do that. And I think I might set up a listing also for the straw paper with already the courier. It, I mean, the courier, the reason, except for Australia and New Zealand, um, for Canada and the United States and even in Europe, um, the courier is really good price. For, like for the United States, it's um, a couple of euro more than regular post. And as we know, the regular post could go astray and it could take forever to arrive that's the issue about the regular post um, and it's only like two euro more sometimes i just absorb it um, however um, i just thought maybe so people can see what you can get exactly um, for the to to fill up the bag properly because the thing about it is in italy the um, like there's a few little shipping ranges prices um below 350 grams but then it goes from 350 grams to one kilo and there are 1000 grams in one kilo for those of you who work in pounds um so you can get three times more than you know so yeah so um it's actually quite good in that sense oh i do like this oh yes this is just something fabulous to me I feel like we're doing something new. Will I put it? No, I need to put it over there. I might even put it down a little bit. So I don't want to lose all of my pattern on the back. 
there that's I mean that's what we're loving on this one now what I'm going to have to do is also figure out um, I'm keen to put together a book to see how this is all going to sort of fit in with what the way I normally put it together I'm just trying to see which way is the right way um, the amazing thing about printing on this um, what's it called tracing paper I keep wanting to call it vellum, but it, I don't, it's not vellum. I don't know what the difference is, but it's not vellum. It's tracing paper. Um, the cool thing about it is that it, it's almost the same density of colour on the reverse side. So it's very good, even though you can't see the reverse side. I need my card. I'll put it away. I want to hop up. I don't want to get in the screen, do I? I hope I'm recording, yes. And I hope you can hear me. Otherwise, it's going to be another silent movie. Lulu's out and about with her friend today. They're roaming about town. It's only a small town. Plenty of people about, and they're not allowed to go into places that um, could be questionable. So um, Lulu's pretty good at following the rules. I think I put the fear of God into her. And not what I would do to her, more what, what could happen if she wanders where she's not supposed to go. Although there's, it's not, I mean, it's pretty, it's not too bad around this area. So I think that's pretty there. I don't think I'll put it up there. That's kind of funny. Up there, I like it down here. So I'll put some glue down there. Now, I'm getting low on labels. I need to do a print. I've been saying that for months. And you know what? I haven't printed them out because I keep forgetting. I keep going and printing other stuff. Um... And I don't print out my labels. Now I'm very close to my microphone, so you'll certainly be able to hear me. I've got the fairy ball in my face. Right. God, I'm, I'm all over the place today. I, I haven't even had any a glass of wine. I don't drink wine during the week. Because you know what? The rule is no wine during the week because we like it too much. And if you start... Ha like. Um, my husband, like Ita many Italians have wine every day. They have a glass of wine every day with their meal. Um, but they, you know, they don't ever do excessive drinking or anything like that. Um, they just enjoy a glass of wine with their meal. But the thing is, they cannot have a meal without their wine. And I don't want to get like that. I don't want, because then I, I like it too much. And then we just want to drink the whole bottle. So, um I prefer not to. I think I like that one. I prefer not to um, drink wine during the week. This is going to have to be that one because I don't have many left. I've got some green ones. They're a little bit big. I think I would like it small. I don't want them so big. Um, I've got that one. I mean, there's so many empty gaps here. No. And then let me just go and see in the other area over here. Because we do have these. I forget about these. Mm, that could be nice. So how is everybody all crafting away? I've been running around like a chicken without a head. But it should be getting better in a minute. Oh, did I finish my story about, um, I did find some stuff. Yes, I'm going to make up some bundles. Um, and they'll be like, well, well, I'm not going to call them that, but they would be kind of like bang for your buck bundles because they'll be, um, you know, what you can get for, um, you know, best, best amount for the shipping. But as you know, like everything I do, you'll have to wait. Because I'm a bit of a slow mo. No, I don't like any of these. You can tell I didn't know what I wanted to do today. I have to put that on the floor. I've got stuff everywhere. So yeah, and the, uh, the other thing is, I do need to do my, as you know, my sewing room. Um, but I've decided. I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. Do I want a label? I think I do. I don't, I'm not tending to want to put anything up there. I'm, maybe I'm not going to put such a big label. I might put a little label. A little label down there and leave that as is or put it up there. I don't want to cover up all those nice 
that nice impression that I got. I'm sure, I wish you could all tell me. I'm sure you're all screaming at me. I wish you could. I wish I could hear you. I really do. I think I'll stick it down there. I don't want to cover that up. Um, yeah. So I was thinking, what I need to do, I think, because I want to. What I want to do, I bet. Oh, I. I don't know. I'll try and remember to link. Um, I want. I don't know. You know um, how YouTube make suggestions sometimes they make interesting suggestions and i go and watch them and then i find somebody else that i have to watch so um anyway so this was the, the what they suggested to me was a lady that does um she has a channel specializing in craft organization not the one that i spoke of before this is a different one so i like that babe that one's done let's consider it done um okay so this one's good this one doesn't have any i haven't opened it yet probably won't open it's probably all stuck forever um oh i'm sure you don't like that sound either there we go um that's for you sherry because you don't like the crunching sound um so yes yeah, so this lady does um craft i'm not getting to the point today am i this lady does um craft um organization and her, her channel a lot of craft organization goes on and um and so she she, one of, she had a very good suggestion. I think it was her that I saw it. I mean, you could just stick that on there. That would be lovely. But that's not doing very much for you guys, is it? If I just stick that on there. I, I, I printed out all the... Now, which were the new ones? That other, the, Oh, these were two of the new ones by Jaff. I don't know if they've been um, released yet or not. I saw that she has another Eclectic Essence kit out um that it, they could be in there i think there was another one could it be this one and oh no because i went through all the kits and printed out just a few a select few it could be that one i don't know anyway um doesn't matter um so so basically yes so she has this channel um where she um does craft organization and um and so she, one of the really good suggestions was that she said you have to take everything out of your craft room well that is just mind-boggling um and then you have to um, group it all together the same things all together and then figure out then decide now what do i need to organize all this stuff so that i think that's a very good suggestion although it's daunting um and so I was thinking I need to declutter uh, everything. And um, yes, so I need to go through and throw stuff out, I think. Put that down. I need a bigger piece. Well, I'm not lacking in book pages, am I? Um, yeah, so I'll try and remember to link that channel. I, I have only watched two videos, but I would like to watch more because I liked what I saw. And... Um, and then I think I'm just going to slowly, maybe I'm just going to approach it. That's what they all say, um, is to just do a little bit at a time. So maybe I'll just take one box down and and declutter. And if there's anything interesting, maybe I can put it together for a giveaway. Or if it's something more important, I can put together a bundle or something. Not like not for very many. It'll be more paying for the shipping than anything else. Um, Yes, yeah, so that's what I think I'm going to do about that. I'm just playing around here, as you can see. Um, I do have... I did cut out some... I didn't cut them out, so I would tell a lie. I did print out... I don't have my little fussy cutter here today. She's gone. Oh, no, I don't have my good scissors. They're in the other room. Talk about disorganisation. Well, I won't be able to. Uh, I don't. I don't think I want to sit here and cut these out. Well, maybe I do. Maybe it's not that hard. I'll just go around. You know, I'll just whiz around. So I don't think I. I have to be careful with this. Um, as I'm not an inker, although I could ink. I could ink. I've got. I bought a Tim Holtz um, thingy-majiggy. I don't think I'm. I'm not mad about the colour that I bought though. I did have that vintage photo one like everybody else, but I, I, I've had it for a while and I don't use it so um, because I don't ink. And so I was just um, wondering whether it will be dry by now, probably. Um, 
so I'll just have to be careful to try and not have any white bits here because I won't be inking them necessarily although I could if I was if they were bothering me too much so um, yes I'm going to declutter first and then um, because otherwise you see all these cool ideas to store your stuff and you go out and spend a whole lot of money and then you just you find it doesn't work for you um, so um, yeah I think I need to do that first so I can really see what I need to store better because I do have I have my laces are all over the place there's some over here and there's some over there and there's some in a container and there's some in drawers and then there's some in drawers out in the hallway and um, and then I just never use them because, and they're beautiful but I just don't use them because they're not or they're not near me or I just go to wherever whatever's easier to get so um need to expand my horizons in my own um, craft room I mean my room is tiny guys I mean I hear people say that their space is tiny but um they haven't seen my craft room it's I mean everything is small in Italy um like I said to Steffi one day, he said, you know, maybe someone will come and, I like that, so maybe some one day someone will come and visit us here. And Steffi and I said, oh, no, we couldn't have, especially we couldn't have any Americans in our house. Everything's so big over there. They'd think we live in a shoebox. <laughs> I said, no, I love our place. Like, you know, we don't live in a big, in a big house. I mean, it, that's just not what Italy is about. You don't live in big houses. You live in apartments. Some people live in houses. Not many. Normally it's a farmhouse. Um, or otherwise they live in a townhouse. And when I say they live in a townhouse, it's a very narrow thing that goes up on many floors and incredibly narrow with squishy spaces. So even though you've got many floors, you feel squished. I did not want a townhouse. Um, I really like our apartment. It, it's old. It's certainly a bit 70s style. It was finished at the beginning of 1980 so you know it still had the 70s influence the tiles are hideous uh, but the space the spa the rooms are big and spacious and I really like that except for my sewing room because it was meant to be a second bathroom when they designed the place um, but um, 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 but um, they never did it and um, now who gave me this fabric uh, Sue Sue gave me this from Paper Inspirations. I put it in the tea and I actually really like the, the colour of it. It's, I mean, it's very similar to what it was, but it just has a different feel to it. Uh, no, I want, what I want is, um, I was very excited yesterday. I went to the, the um, we have um, these stores that have everything. They're not thrift stores, they're, but they're owned by the Chinese. Um, many Chinese people that have come here immigrants have opened these stores and they have like cleaning stuff and yeah cleaning stuff and all kinds of products a little bit cheaper than what you can buy it at the supermarket so they're pretty good and that's where I go and get my glue it's a little bit in less expensive than um, the supermarket not all supermarkets carry my glue as well that I love this Giotto glue and um, and so I went there and they had um, they had they had run out of tissue paper um, and they've never had this colour before I'll show you in a second it's, it's a, actually a tea tea colour I saw s someone had sent me something and it was wrapped in that and I thought oh gosh I wish it could get that that colour sort of linen-y sort of colour um, tissue paper here in Italy and um, so anyway, I went there. I was so excited. I bought three packs. I think I better go back there. I think I'll go there before I pick up Lulu from town or, or after I've picked her up and um, just grab whatever else they've got left because they only cost 90 cents for a packet. It's not expensive. Um, and I think I'll get it all because they are just the type of shop. They'll have it in once and then they don't get it in again. So I don't know where they get the stuff from. But anyway, oh, I like that. Everything's very yellow, isn't it? Maybe we'd better try a different color really do like that. Does it need anything else? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it need anything else? Probably not. No, I know you're all screaming at me. Don't put that there. Don't do it. Okay, well, possibly... Um, oh, I could have stamped. 
I didn't do any stamping. I could do a little bit of stamping now, but I don't think I will because I've got the nice, um, the lovely medieval mirage paper behind. I think I'll leave that. So these are very quick little things. Once you don't have to worry about the, I mean, that's just got pretty pattern all over it. Isn't that a shame to cover that up? So I'll just have to do something down here in this region. Um, oh, I'll show you the tissue paper, otherwise I'll forget. See, it's this colour. I'm sure it's not exciting for you. It's kind of like a tan, linen-y tan sort of colour. I love it. So, um, look, it even goes with my coffee dyed stuff. Um, you can tell I've been missing you. I haven't had a chat for a while. I've got to ca we've got to catch up. Um, I probably sound like a crazy woman. Okay, well, maybe we should try and get a bit of colour on here. Uh, I don't think I'll collage coffee on coffee. Can we do that? No, I don't think so. That's not. Oh, what about some of this? This is that yummy, um, what are they called? Manu Designs. I think I'll start with that because I really like that. Um, I probably sound like a crazy woman. Oh dear, I, do, oh, I hope you can hear me with my new fluff ball hanging on there. And, um, oh, I did have something to tell you that Stephen I just cracks me up. I told Steffi, if you didn't want to be an architect anymore, he's a very good cook and he really does enjoy cooking. So why don't you just um, get a YouTube channel and um, you can go over to your mum's nice kitchen because she's got a lovely kitchen that um, he designed for her with his, his friend. Um, and why don't you go over there and we'll set you up and you can do... Italian simple Italian recipes I think that would be a lot of fun now I don't know why I'm cutting this out because I need my little pointy scissors to cut that out there but anyway I just want to see what it looks like I'll have I'll have a little look I can always do, finish that one off afterwards um, you could always have a cooking channel and teach people and Mama Maria could even show how to do stuff and um, and um, and then Steffi could translate and I can guarantee you he is hilarious the way he speaks English. It is hilarious. Oh, oh I'll just give you another one. Um, you know, you know Miley Cyrus. I don't think I've ever told you this. He was. Um, he watches. He watches. What's that stupid show called? I don't like it. Oh, I can't remember what it's. Mirror? No, not mirrors. Is it called Mirrors? I don't know. It's on Netflix. He, I don't like it. Um, it's a weird show. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway. I think it's mirrors, but I could be wrong. Um, it's all different episodes, different stories in every episode and, and really weird stuff. Um, anyway, he likes it. And there was an episode with Miley Cyrus and he said, oh, I just watched a really good episode of Mirrors, if that's what it's called, with um, Mili Chirkus. And I said, who's Mili Chirkus? <laughs> I, I didn't know who he was talking about. I think my sister was here. We were crying, laughing. We didn't know who he was talking about. And then, uh, you know, there was no way we were going to get there from that. Um, and so I'm trying to think, what's the spelling? And um, and then I said, show me on the internet. Who are you talking about? <laughs> and then he showed me, I went, oh, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Not Mili Chirkus. Oh, my word, he's so funny. So my sister went home, I think she told told you guys in one of the videos, um, she went home with a big long list of Steffi sayings. Oh my, my, I was talking about it with my mum the other day and she said, oh, I love it when you when he's giving you directions and he goes, straight on, straight on. <laughs> We're going straight ahead. He goes, straight on, you go straight on. Oh dear, poor husband. Mm, I quite like that. That's different, isn't it? I never, I never put a teapot in any, no, teacup, teacup, teacup. But I don't know. Does that does that tie me to a tea tea sort of theme? Does that tie me? Is that going to tie me down? That's the question. That is the question. I've got some mushrooms here. So I did do a little bit of printing because I had run out of all these sorts of things. But if I stick the mushrooms down, I'm going very brown again, aren't I? Very, you know, in the family of yellow. So um, yes. So yeah, my dear husband, he's so sweet. He's very kind and patient. I don't need to worry about this one too much with my cutting because it's got a beige background. So um, anyway, there's, there's a whole lot of pointless information for you. Don't know if I'm making any sense at all. 
Yes, this is what you're going to get for the moment until I get my brain connected again. Um, you're just going to get random crafting sort of videos. Nothing too, too flash. And maybe some um, flip throughs. I need to ask the other ladies if I if they would wouldn't if I should publish their flip through now or after when they receive their goodies because some people like to have a surprise nope that's not big enough so you had to wait for all of that and then I'm not even going to use it and I don't know about that one I'm just not convinced so what I'm going to do oh I forgot about shabby dabby doodah I said I was going to do some shabby dabby doodahing and I didn't well, I might have to do it in another video. How long have I been? Am I even recording? Oh, I am. 40 minutes. Oh, gosh, time's going slowly today. I've got heaps of time. I'm just going to... I know I'm not showing you them very well, but um, I'm, I'm getting crowded. I don't have a lot of space here. Well, there's some black and white there. There are some nice things in there. Those are too big. I'm not, that's a, like a, you know, a journal sort of page sort of thing. Isn't it? It's all very pretty, and I liked these um, colours. I need to watch some of Tina's videos, see what sort of things she does, because this is quite different to what I'm used to. But I do like it. It's good to push your boundaries and get some different things sometimes. Oh, and I didn't show you how to do how. I mean, I they're not proper glassine bags. What I did, I'll be honest, they're not. They're just not because um, I'm not going to use those because um, I just. I mean, I just made it up as I went when I did those. But I will do that. I will show you. It's just that I have to. Um, I have to do some spraying. Which is not always the best, as you know, with me. So I'm building up the courage to do it. I, I forgot to buy my mask when I went to my little shop around the corner the other day. My little shop around the corner that has everything. So apparently these plastic doilies are not so easy to find out and about. Um, even the Chinese store has them here. Um, they actually did have one. It was a hideous colour. It was like this horrible blue. Um... But it looked like it had a pretty good pattern. So I think I might go and get a meter of that. The other day I was in a bit of a rush. So I couldn't I didn't, I couldn't really um, stop and ask them to cut me a piece. Because, I mean, getting help in there is not, not an easy task. I was thinking I might like a bit of this. Did I put any of this on the other one? I didn't. No. I think this, this is a beautiful um, recycled uh, paper that I get at my supermarket here. Um... So I do quite like that. I think I put that there. I'm, I'm going to ditch the blue. The blue is not working for me. It's not. In, it's just hindering me somehow. Oh, I've glued it down to my page. It might have to stay there. Oh, yes, it's going to have to stay. Oh, no, it's not. Here it comes. We don't care if it's torn. It makes it look even better. That's my opinion. Yep. There we go. So I always put one down here and one up here. Not always, but... I'm going to balance it like I wouldn't put it over there. Uh, and so, let's just get my little... I do like the teacup there. I like it. Otherwise, I was thinking maybe we're going to tear it. A little bit of Paris. Gay Paddy. Oh, that is pretty. I need to take this bit off, even though I like it, because I'm covering up too much of my background. Oh, I like. I might put it at an angle. I've been liking putting things at an angle. Did anybody notice that? And then I'm going to grab. See, I'm not attached to the iPad anymore. So if you can hear me, this will be fabulous, because there will be no shaking you about making you all seasick when I move. So that will be good, and also. If I get Madam to ever participate ever again, um, which is a hard task. She's been doing a lot of lying around these last few days. I can say it because she's not here. Um, she's been lying around quite a bit. So I was quite happy she went out today and did something. So 
I think I'll put some of this. Oh yes, it's very. I'm going very beige today, aren't I? Very, very natural. So I think it's the coffee. The coffee's doing that to me. Coffee's making me go beige. And it might also be that I don't have all, all those flowers cut out. Oops. Oh, that wasn't very good gluing. I've got a crease in it. Okay. Oh, I am going to cover up all of that, doesn't matter. Oh, I know what I could do. I could do a little bit of stamping on top. Really getting crazy. Get, get, put it, getting myself out there. Um, and I'm just going to put that there. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. And, um, and the other thing now, um, I've been, I can't seem to throw away my packaging. I've got a problem. I'm going to need to store the packaging now because I can't throw it away. I just want to keep it just in case because, you know, that's what Artie Mays does. She keeps hers and she makes really cool stuff with it. And now I feel, well, now I go to throw it out and I feel really bad throwing it out. So I think, well, maybe I better keep it and do something with it. Now, what I thought I might do is just do very carefully, if that's possible in my world, I'll just put it on here. Just want to, yes, that connects it all. Just a little bit of stamping here and there. Oh, it's very scary. A bit more. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's a bit of a crazy one, isn't it? open. I wonder if it needs oh you know what else it could have probably telling me to stop it now stop it. My mum Juju would be saying no that's enough that's enough don't put any more on there but sometimes we like a little bit more and I'm thinking what I'm thinking of is some washi tape because I have this beautiful washi tape that I never use very rarely and I do like what you've done there Tina it's very nice very, very nice. Now let's see what we could possibly have here. Oh, we could have a splash of colour. These are like little stamps. We'll have a look at that. I'll uh, just pull out a few options as you do. Oh, I've got a little Paris. These, there's a Cavallini. There's a shop here. Um, they don't have very much actually. There's probably nothing there now. Um, she had um, pulled apart the Cavallini packs and... Um, and so I was able to get some of their, some of their lovely, what do you call them? Washi tapes. I'm just tidying that up a little bit. I shouldn't be doing that. You probably can't even see me. How disappointing. Oh, look at, I mean, I just want to go all these tone on tones. These are, these are really nice. These are from Alibaba Express. This was a pack. How nice are they? There's some more. I don't know. I think there were four or five in there. Here's one of the other ones there. And where's the other one? I don't know. Don't know. Maybe there are only four. Possibly there are only four. There could have been only four. And if anybody's going to ask, like anybody new, um, this basket, this was a oh, an old cutlery basket and I got it. Um, maybe that was in there with it. No. Oh, here it is. I told you there were five. There they are. That's them. Um, this, yeah, I got it at the antique market. It was only a few, like, uh, how many euro was it? Five or something? I think that one might be nice. Um, so a, la and a, a lady had it, picked it up and I thought, oh gosh, I missed that. And um, it's wire. Love it. There you are. Um, and I thought, oh, what blow, I missed it. And, um, and then... Um, the guy said it's five euro and because he had a section that was five euro and a section that was um but it wasn't clearly marked that was um three euro and she wanted it for three euro so she put it no one euro one euro so she put it back down she was very indignant about it oh i quite like that she was very indignant about it and kind of annoyed like he was you know trying to rip her off or something so i just waited for her to walk away because i thought oh she's so silly um I thought she might change her mind and come back, but she didn't. She went round the other side of the table, and so that's crooked. And so, um, 
I just pick, quickly pick, picked it up and paid for it and whizzed off. And anyway, she didn't she didn't go back and look for it. I didn't see her looking for it. So okay, so I've put that there. I've made a decision, but I did like this. Or would I like a Paris? Or is that a bit much? Oh look, I've even got a yellow Paris. But I want I would like a darker Paris than the yellow Paris. It does not come off well this Cavallini stuff. No, nah, it's ruined. I can't use that Paris. No, nah, it's all torn. Okay, well that solves that problem, doesn't it? Let's see if I have better luck with the next one. It's almost like a um, masking tape. I think it is. It's like a little masking tape. No, I don't think I want Paris. I don't want it. Let me put it back on there. There you go, you can stay there. Okay, well, do I want a bit of this? I don't think so. I think I'll just have it like that. Because I don't, yeah, that, well, I could tear it. Let's see if I can tear it. So if I were to take this and then if it's possible at all and it might not be so easy because it's small oh I can you can do anything if you really put your mind to it and I could I'll just try it it'll come off I won't do anything too bad I could put it there like that I quite like that I'm wondering I don't think I really like that I'm gonna pull that off that poor piece of paper is not having a good time I'll put you back on your thing. You can go back with your friends. Where are they? Here we go. Stick that back on there. You can go somewhere else. I didn't like you. I'm glad I took that off. And um, what have I mean? I'll put that little piece up there, you see? So it's balanced. I could have made more of an effort and put it near the edge, but yeah, I like that now. Okay, that's it, guys. Because we're taking a long time to just to do three bags. So that's that one. I wonder if that one wants something. Would like no, I don't think so. No, it doesn't need anything else. Just checking. You know how I have to check. Oh, green, green washi tape might be nice. Just put a little piece of that. I like these washi tapes from AliExpress because they're, um, you know, they go transparent a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that. Where will I put it? It's just finding where to put I think I put it up here. Yes, stick it up there. I don't really have another bit to stick anywhere else. That'll do. Okay, so there's this one with Paris there. And then this one. Now I'm standing up so you probably can hear me really loud. And then this one here. Very simple. But you've got the lovely bag. I don't even know if I could bring myself to pin this in, the, glue this in the journal, because look at that. I don't know. Now, these were not glassine bags. I think Joyce or someone sent me these. These were just those thin um, sort of white bags. Um, but they did, they did turn out really well. So they might be floating bags somehow or tipped in. Because you could probably write on them they're not glassine or anything like that so yeah so that's my little project today i hope you're all well i just wanted to check in with everyone um and let you know what i've been up to and and the days just fly by and it's nearly time to cook dinner and i will be back maybe tomorrow things are getting better so i probably will be back tomorrow because i need to make a whole lot of ephemera uh, for my new journals because surprise surprise i don't have that much left over so, um, and I need to work on my book. I might do that tonight, my um, 100 day project book. So we, maybe we can have an update with that. Oh, and I, no, I know my mum's not gonna watch. So I can just give you a glimpse of what I'm doing for her. It's teeny tiny. So I had this little book and I've done, look at this. So this is the little, that's the book there. I've nearly covered it all up. The spine, they just, um, they've obviously done some repair. And it was like, a, it's kind of like some sort of tape. Um, so I don't know, I went to town on it. Uh, I won't show you what I'm doing inside, but a little bit different. And um, 
and then I put the bag there so I slip it something in there and the bag goes around the spine so yeah I need to play around more with this I haven't had time to do any more on it I told my mum I'm a bit late um, I've even lost the pages that were in here I think I probably sold them all um, so I'm just putting some other super old pages in there but there's all kinds of fun things happening in that so it probably wouldn't have that many pages in it um, well enough but um, for the thickness of the spine but there's going to be some fun things in there so and I'm thinking if it turns out I might make a course because there's a lot of fun things to do in this so that's that that's my other thing I've got to get going on so thank you for listening to me and I will be back probably tomorrow Bye.